the good news is this short video will be a lot shorter than I thought. All right. So Amazon has done a 20 for 1 split on their stock because, you know, nobody actually likes buying one share of stock for like two, three thousand dollars, right? You know, it just becomes very expensive and unwieldy. And it actually also prices, you know, poor middle class people out and therefore you lose out on trading volume that you could have had had your price of your stock was, you know, actually cheaper. All right. So let's see. Oh, that's pretty uh, fun to watch. All right. Well, we don't really need to read any of this because, again, I only need to do basic fundamentals because, again, we know that stock markets are hyper manipulated, specifically by the Federal Reserve and central banks, and that we know that more or less, you know, if the Fed decides they want a recession, you'll get a recession. If they want to pump the markets, they'll pump the markets. Right? You know, there's. You know, like Greg says, fundamentals have nothing to do with the stock performance anymore. It's supposed to, but we've reached a point where, you know, federal, the, the federal, okay, that actually really distracted me. The Federal Reserve and the central banks just have, like, too much control over everything. Um, am I expecting a package today? Uh... I don't see anything on Amazon. I, yeah, because I, I, I always delete my emails as soon as I get something from uh, Amazon, so I know I'm not expecting a package. Yeah. Or maybe the guy just pushed the wrong button. All right, so anyway, uh, the tech sector in general is, uh, you know, in a, like, a, I guess, what, great, what did Greg call it? A cyclical bear market, which technically could last anywhere from, like, about 13 months. You know, but of course, when I actually check that myself, I mean, you compare the NASDAQ, right, to the performance of the S&P 500, I mean, their price action basically looks exactly the same, all right, up, 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 then COVID BS hit, right, and then we got a big giant nosedive, same thing over here, right, in the same time frame, this is the NASDAQ. Right, and then right now, markets are kind of like in a corrective phase, trying to get out of it, right? So I'm, I'm, so I'm kind of hoping today will be a nice big up day. Because again, I don't see too much crazy stuff going on. The dollar is up a little bit, right? You know, U.S. Treasury yields, they're doing okay, and we're above the 3% yield for the 10-year yield. So, I mean, there's really no reason why this is, you know, you know doing what it's doing. This, the market's in aggregate. All right, I even check cryptocurrencies. I mean, they're still up, but I mean, it actually has come down from, you know, 32,000 Bitcoin from earlier this morning. So I don't know where all this money is going. Right now, people are just going into the dollar. Like, it just doesn't really make any sense. But again, that's why I actually don't do day trading or even swing trading. All right. Uh, the exception is the S&P, right? The uh, spies, right? At least I'm attempting to do uh, swing trading on spider calls. All right. I already have a long-term position in SPY, all right, which is, uh, oh, let me see, what are you up to? It's like, what, yeah, 411, 412. So it's like, you know, that doesn't expire until January 2023, but I usually like to own about 13 months out, all right? But, you know, I'm just trying to do a little bit of experimentation, see I can squeeze out a lot more profit quicker by taking shorter duration positions, which are obviously riskier because I have less less time to, you know, resell it for a higher price, especially if the markets are just going to just perform like they're doing today, right, which is just up a lot and then just go back down to nothing. And it's just, you know, kind of annoying. But again, it's only 1.30 p.m. here in New York City, so we got two and a half hours to go. Wait, two and a half? Yeah, two and a half hours to go, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, unless you think Amazon's like committing fraud or going bankrupt anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty good. I mean, 125 is not that bad. All right. I mean, it's still expensive, but at least it's not too grand a pop. Yeah. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. But again, we'll just have to see what the Federal Reserve decides to do today. All right. You know, random. A random walk with an upswing uh, on Wall Street, as Greg would always say. But yeah, it looks pretty good, you know, so no real, no, no real problems. Unlike the Twitter uh, video I just did, right, my first trial balloon for stocks, 
Yeah, I don't see any. I, I haven't seen or heard anything wrong with Amazon. So, uh, but yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out like price predictions because I know that a lot of people actually seem to search it on YouTube. I personally would prefer not to do that for specific stocks because again, I just don't. Because again, there's always the manipulation factor, right? I I can't I can't possibly account for that except for the S and P 500, right? Because there's only one entity in the world that can manipulate the stock markets. It's these clouds, right? It's the, these, these stupid idiots, right? The Federal Reserve. So, and it's already pretty obvious what they're going to do. So, you know. Anyway, um, yeah. So, I'll, I'll put this video out there. I'll see how it goes. If it gets enough views, I'll keep doing more of these stock videos. If it performs poorly, then I'm just going to stick with cryptocurrencies. But, yeah. But for the most part... Oh, if I had more money, I wouldn't mind buying a little bit of Amazon, right? Specifically the stock, not the options, right? Right now, the op buying options is just too difficult. It's it's a very difficult thing, and I'm already having a, you know, a little bit of trouble in my spider calls, right? Because I actually like doubled or tripled my money on my first spider trade, right? Using calls, right? So I'm just trying to tweak that, right? But uh, but hey, I'm pretty happy with what I got, so whatever. See you all probably tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks.